Hi guys. What I'm going to show you today is a uh, real simple <clears throat> and a quick load here in the Peoria area. We have Keystone Steel and Wire that was just bought out by Liberty Steel about maybe a week ago. But anyway, <clears throat> there's a lot of coiled wire that moves out of Peoria area. And what I'm going to do is get right to showing you how I make these uh, coils. Well, guys, <clears throat> what I've done is I went out and I ordered from Granger's these bundles of wire. And they're around 12 inches in length. And I think they said 17 or 18 thousandths in thickness. And of course I miked, miked it at 19. And what I do is I, I found this pencil and it mics out around 280 thousandths and pencils are not all the same the first couple of pencils I tried uh, the coils were too big and wouldn't fit side by side in the gondola <clears throat> so I kept searching around until I come across with this thinner pencil but what I do Is basically wrap this it takes you a while to get into a rhythm and of course my arthritis is kind of acting up but I try to roll as tight of a coil as I can I try not to overlap the wire. Hopefully this is showing up. My hands aren't blocking. So what you end up with is kind of like a almost a homemade spring. And these you can load them into your gondola. You can rust them, weather them. I don't believe I've ever seen any of that shiny coming right out of the mill. They're usually a dark color, a little bluish maybe. But they do a lot of rolled wire. And I made a false bottom and then glued, glued my rolls in. But you have to kind of Squeeze them and adjust them, shape them till, till you get them to where they fit in there kind of flush. And you can even kind of tuck in the ends, which helps to make them nest together a little bit better. Of course, you can try to match up the, the angles on the ends. But this is how I make my coiled wire loads. Now here you can see the uh, the load out of the car. <clears throat> One thing I want to kind of say about this wire is actually this wire, the way I found it was it 
these wires are for manila tags. Uh, where I used to work, we would tag different pieces or parts to machines. And you just basically you take one of these wires out and loop it through the manila tag where you could write on the tag. And uh, but then you could wire <clears throat> that onto a part or piece of machinery. And I'm not sure what the quantity is, but I think you could buy as as many as a, a thousand of these uh, in a bundle. They're not very expensive, but when when you look them up on Granger, if that's where you try to find them, uh, you would look for Manila tags with the wire separate. So you could buy either the tag by itself or the wire. You can also buy them pre-strung, but I didn't really want to deal with it, having a, a bunch of tags that I didn't need. And that's all it takes. Now you could probably use a quarter inch uh, rod as a core to wind on, which would be a little bit uh, smaller than this. I don't think that would hurt anything. Um, even possibly quarter inch OD uh, plastic tubing. But you, you just need to trial and error the cars that you wanted to load this stuff into. So good luck and happy coiling.